In uh, this video, I want to show off a couple of uh, TT combat buildings that I've been upgrading with very simple and cheap means to make them look uh, better and tweak them from their uh, original setting into a classic Baldur's Gate inspired fantasy city that I'm working on for Gilders A Life in Shadows. Very few uh, materials needed besides the MDF kit. I've been using some um, coffee stores and uh, popsicle sticks. Those can, uh, those are free if you know where to loot them in the coffee shop. Grab a handful here and there when you uh, get a coffee. Or you can buy a thousand of them for nothing. Um, I've been using some very thin mahogany sheets. This is uh, scrap wood. I've made a deal with the uh, with the local hardware store and sawmill that I can that I can loot and scavenge any trash from them. Uh, so I found a lot of this very nice thin mahogany that I'm I'm using to to upgrade some stuff trying to keep the color that it has naturally um, saves time and looks better than that I can paint the uh, light coffee stores and popsicle sticks. Lastly I'm using a lot of um, pre pre-mixed uh, wood filler polyfiller this is uh, like a liter it's heavy there's a lot in it it's uh, fairly cheap and there'll be enough for a gas cillion projects. I've mixed in a bunch of wood glue to strengthen it further. It's easy to work with, but it adds a nice plaster effect to the buildings that I'm about to show off. So I'm just gonna go over the buildings and uh, and show what I've been doing. I've bought and built a lot of uh, TT combat terrain over the years. Uh, for Gilders Alive in Shadow I wanted to field a big fantasy city quickly for uh, for game testing purposes, so I'll build it all, and then I've gone through each building afterwards and upgrading them with fairly simple techniques. This huge building I've uh, bought to use as an uh, as an inn. I've named it the uh, the Peacock Inn after the Dunkeldorf uh, Two Kickstarter from uh, King Games, the Branson Peacock, and this is a small 25 millimeter building for uh, World War II games, also by uh, TT Combat. 25mm seems a bit off, the doors are large compared to it being a 25mm stuff. Let's say a 32mm model. So lots of room. With uh, both buildings I've, I've aimed to get a lot of color in my city, I want a lot of color in my uh, fantasy city. The ground floors are made as stone and I've added a couple of, of cardboard bricks uh, to the walls made from a couple of different thicknesses of the cardboard and then it's just a uh, quick spray paint and dry brush. In the upper floors, both buildings, I've added uh, timber framing from popsicle sticks and then used the polyfiller to add plaster. The plaster really adds a lot to that flat MDF base and it's uh, easy to paint and uh, depending on how much time you want to spend I've uh, simply used the base color and then given it a homemade brown wash from thinned acrylic uh, brown paint and uh, dish soap. The roofs is an easy upgrade as well. Uh, cardboard shingles, cut out a long strip, then cut small triangles in it, and glue the entire strip once at a time, and added those. I made sure to make the roofs uh, playable by adding a flat piece of uh, cardboard to the top. For uh, a game like Gilders, where there's a lot of acrobatics and uh, jumping rooftops and then uh, Assassin's Creed style, this adds a lot of playability to the buildings. Smoke to the chimney stacks just adds a lot of life, feel of life to the city. Uh, this Streets of Venice building doesn't really come with a smokestack originally. It's from uh, some other World War II kits. 
and I've just uh, Frankenstein them. I don't remember where these small sites are from, some other M uh, MDF kit by uh, TT Combat. Wanted to add a lot of life to the city, so I've been adding tons of flower tufts to all the windows. The windows. I really like the, the way it looks and uh, the color and feel of a uh, nice cozy fantasy city it adds. There's no grim dark in the one arm building. It's really quick to paint this way. Um, base coat with the spray paint, cheap acrylics, cheap acrylics for dry brushing and a brown wash when you're all done. Here is what I've been using this uh, thin fine mahogany. I've added to both sides of this building, both in the front here and uh, in the back. Again, it's for added playability, considering that Gilders is a Thief Guild game. So adding stuff like this, or uh, these small window boxes, just adds a lot of playability when, uh, when playing the game. I've also added an, an extra half roof to this, uh, to this inn breaking up the, the fairly clunky way it, it would look otherwise. Also made sure to, to slope it only slightly so that miniatures can easily stand there and uh, use it as part of the games. So there you have it. Super quick, super easy ways to upgrade MDF buildings, cost next to nothing and really make them pop compared to um, plain MDF. It's still below the level of detail on uh, plastic or resin of 3D printed buildings, but the speed with which you can complete them is much higher. And the initial price on the, uh, especially CT Combat, MDF buildings is so low. It's a, uh, it's quick and easy to fill a board. Cheers, thanks for watching and make sure to check out uh, Gilders I'll put links below if you enjoy a uh, skirmish game experience with a long campaign, builders might be for you.